Hey, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy here once again with another video tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a rainbow probably in less than a minute, believe it or not. And it's really easy to do in Adobe Photoshop Element 7. A lot of times the designs can use kind of a nice colorful rainbow to kind of brighten it up. Uh, if you have some kind of even like a rainy day kind of design and you want to add a rainbow just to add a little bit of flair to it. So um, let's go ahead and get started. What I have here is just a normal 12 by 12 uh, blank uh, graphic setup. And the first thing I need to do is go and create a new layer on top of that background layer. And I'm going to head over to my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to uh, create a rectangle that's about an inch deep or an inch uh, down and all the way across to the end of the paper. So we now have the marching ants of our rectangle. And I'm going to come down to my gradient tool, click on that, and come up and choose the color that is the rainbow here. And I'm going to hold the shift key down and starting at the top of the rectangle, just kind of bring the mouse down to the bottom of the rectangle. And it'll go ahead and fill that up as a rainbow but it is a flat looking rectangle. It certainly doesn't look like a rainbow just yet, only the colors do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control D, deselect everything. And now this is where we get kind of fancy. We're going to come up to Filters, go to Distort, and then choose Polar Coordinates. And what we want to do is make sure the rectangular to polar is the one that's uh, selected, not the polar to rectangular. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and within a couple of seconds here, boom, we have our circle which looks like the uh, bottom and top of a rainbow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make a quick little adjustment here for the size. And then what you can do is go back to your rectangular tool and you can actually take it, put it towards the bottom, hit delete, and there we go. There we have our perfect half circle rainbow in the rainbow colors that you can add to your digital scrapbooking layouts um, however you'd like and it's kind of a cool effect and it can easily add a little bit of color to your layouts so what I'm going to do now is now that we kind of know the concept on how to build a rainbow I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one to a photograph that I have of our city so let me go ahead and I'll just go ahead and minimize that and I'm going to open up our, our picture of our city and here we go. What I'm going to do is once again I'm going to go over to my new layer and create a new layer. Go back over with my mark, uh, rectangular marquee tool selected. I'm going to go and I'm going to create a rectangle. Go back down to my gradient tool. Uh, my rainbow colors are already selected up there. At the top I'm going to start, hold the shift key down, go down to the bottom of that rectangle, fill it up. There we go. And I'm going to hit Control D to deselect it again, filter, distort, polar coordinates, and hit OK. And there we have our circle again, which looks like a rainbow. And now what I can do is I can make adjustments so it kind of fits this design. And I can make it a little bit bigger. And bring it around here. And in fact, what happens is if for some reason it starts getting out uh way out and you can't kind of control it anymore all you really need to do well, let me go ahead and select that all you need to do is hit the um, magnifying glass and hold the alt key down if you have it set up to automatically be a positive or I'm sorry a, a zoom in it'll change it to a minus and zoom out a little bit and I'll go ahead and select your rainbow and now we can make it even bigger to make it fit in the design here there we go and I'm just gonna have it go right into the middle of the city going to hit the little check mark, hit OK. Let me go and zoom back in. And I'm going to come back over to my rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just going to select around the part of the rainbow that I don't want. So I'll go ahead and hit delete there. OK, so now I have a really solid rainbow sitting on top of the city. Now I'm going to make a couple of little adjustments to give it a little more realistic look. I'm going to go up to filter, hit blur, and then Gaussian blur. What you can see here is you're actually blurring out the rainbow, so it looks a little more realistic. You, anytime you see a real rainbow, it doesn't really have that uh, sharp-edged look. It always seems a little bit fuzzy. Hit OK there. You can see we still have some remnants of the other one there. So let me go get my eraser tool, and I'm going to erase that out of there on the bottom. Now let me go ahead and zoom in. 
And another thing I could do to make it a little more realistic, it's kind of solid, even though we blurred it, it's still kind of solid going through there. And most rainbows are a little bit see-through. So I'm going to make sure my layer of the rainbow is selected. I'm going to go up to Opacity, and I'm going to bring the Opacity down a little bit. Maybe down to about 60%. There we go. And then the last thing I need to do, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more where it comes down to these buildings, is I want to erase away where the rainbow is coming over top of the buildings. Now I'm going to do it kind of quickly. You can certainly take your time and do a little better job on it, but just to kind of show you how to do it, I just want to do it kind of quickly here. Make sure you get the edges. And there's different ways you can erase on here also. You can choose the uh, polygon uh, tool which would then just draw around the boxes of the rainbow if you'd like, or a box around the buildings. But I'm just going to use the eraser tool just to make it a little easier. And there we go. So let me zoom back out and we'll take a look at it. So there we go. It looks like we have the rainbow coming in and dropping down on the city. And it's, like I said, a little more of a realistic looking rainbow than a graphic uh, rainbow. And one other picture I want to show you is uh, a digital scrapbooking layout I created a couple days ago also with a rainbow. Now this has more of a graphic kind of look to it and I have the rainbow coming down uh, on the pot of gold here. So uh, once you have the basic understanding on how to create the rainbow you can certainly do all uh, different sorts of things depending on what your layout and you're trying to accomplish uh, with it. So there you go. That's a really fast way to make a rainbow using Photoshop Element 7.